Brian Chan with Sound Marketing West. I'm the Southern California DBX and Crown Rep, and I'm here at Pro Sound and Stage Lighting today to talk about the DBX Drive Rack PA. The DBX Drive Rack PA, which we have right here, is a one rack space unit that is designed to be an all-in-one signal processor for pretty much all the key essential tools that you will need in a live sound system. Now, in a traditional sound system design, you'd have an entire rack of signal processors kind of like this. Anything from graphic equalizers, compressors, so, uh, sonic maximizers, subharmonic synth, uh, alignment delay, crossovers, anything you can think of. I mean, you could have an entire rack of signal processing to do what this one rack space unit does. Now, in terms of the customer, Anybody who is a mobile musician, you know, anybody that's in a band, any mobile DJ, any live sound guys that have a live sound system, this one piece unit is a dual 28 man graphic equalizer. It has multiple bands of stereo parametric EQ on it. You have three bands of parametric EQ on the high outputs, two bands on the mid, and two bands on the low. <clears throat> The crossover is also a three-way stereo crossover. You have stereo XLR in, and then you have six XLR outputs. By the way, these are the meters right here. So you've got your input metering, and then you have your output metering for your lows, your mids, and your highs. It's stereo linked, so when you go into the unit, uh, what goes in the left comes out the left side, what goes in the right comes out the right side. So everything in here is stereo linked, but you have uh, a sub uh, subharmonic synth built into here which is used to increase the low frequencies uh, of the bass from 24 to 36 hertz and 36 to 56 hertz and uh, you've also got like I said the crossover it's a three-way stereo crossover you can change the different slopes of the crossover as well as the different frequencies so you could change uh, the low to go all the way down to 20 hertz if you want to and bring it all the way up to whatever frequency you want let's just say we want it at 90 and then we could go to our highs and bring that down to 90 now, right now, this is only set up as a two-way stereo crossover, but if you set this up as a three-way stereo crossover, you could have your high and your low crossed over at 80 or 90 hertz, and then run the mid in full range and go to another amplifier in another room, taking advantage of the compressor, the EQ, and some of the other processors that are in here. Now, going over some of the other key features on the drive rack, you have your uh, crossover, like I said, which is a three-way stereo crossover that you can run full range if you want. Uh, the, the advantage to a three-way stereo crossover would be hooking it up into a sound system like a uh, JBL SRX sound system. The SRX boxes on the top, like an SRX 725, is a biampable top. So you could go highs and mids into that and then run your uh, subwoofer or go lows into your subwoofer. So that's how you would do a true three-way system with the crossover. Uh, feedback suppression. This has 12 dedicated bands of feedback suppression, basically dedicating themselves to finding any kind of feedback from a microphone and cutting it out. Now, most traditional feedback processors, like uh, you know, most feedback destroyers, only do 1 60th of an octave worth of feedback suppression, which is kind of a V that looks kind of like this, okay? looks somewhat like that okay so DBX on the other hand has a 1 80th of an octave of a filter so it looks more like that so it's a much tighter filter affecting fewer frequencies so it's a very detailed feedback suppressor and it's very accurate uh, you also have a classic DBX compressor built into here uh, you have limiters on all of your outputs, so there's three stereo limiters, and then you have alignment delay used to time align your drivers. So we can delay our highs and our mids to get the lows, mids, and highs to all line up when you're 10, 15 feet out from the sound system. It will improve the intelligibility. Uh, one of the really cool things about the DVX drive rack that I did not talk about yet is its ability to connect an RTA microphone to this RTA mic input. Now, by doing that, what you're doing is taking a flat calibrated frequency microphone, plugging it in, and then pushing your RTA input button, and then you're going to go and you're going to generate uh, pink noise out of the drive rack. It has a pink noise generator, which is every frequency from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, blasting through the uh, amplifier and into the speaker. So what this will do is it'll analyze that response of the room based on that pink noise and based on the size, shape, and characteristics of the room, and it will automatically EQ the room for you. That's one of the really huge selling points, is that the Drive Rack PA, you could go to any venue, plug your RTA mic in, sweep the room or tune the room, and you're done. Uh, there's also a, a wizard function in here, which has a multitude of different JBL speakers, different crown amplifiers. Uh, there's also other speakers from other companies out there on the market, such as Yamaha, Serwin Vega, 
uh, E, V, E, A, W. So there's a whole bunch of presets in the drive rack uh, series of product. Uh, the drive rack PA, once again, to sum it all up, is an all-in-one dynamic processor that you could take uh, to any event at any time and make a okay sound system sound phenomenal and make a phenomenal sound system sound extra phenomenal. <laughs> so uh, that is my spiel on the DBX Drive Rack PA and uh, if anybody has any questions I'm always down here at Pro Sound and Stage Lighting hanging with the guys and training so uh, that's my spiel. Thank you. <laughs>